hello everyone Gloria here gonna show you that we're gonna do a simple palette which is just blue yellow red and black and the brushes is the one inch brush the what is this there filter brush a small round and a medium size round uh, you can use a sponge if you like for the trees or you can use the brush whichever you prefer It's good to practice with both. Here's a charcoal pencil that you can trace with or you can just uh, Use the paint use the paint to sketch if you want Just to have an idea of where you're going to be placing trees. I'm going to start with the big round brush and I just dipped it in black. Nothing fancy, we're going to try to keep it simple. It's already learned how to do trees in the classroom with Lewis, so this should be pretty easy and simple. Now I'm gonna switch to the small round one to do the trees in the background. How was the back? The reason we're doing this is because we are creating distance so the trees in the back are going to be smaller and sometimes even lighter. Put in as many trees as you like or as little but I think it looks prettier if you have more than less. shadows at the bottom. I'm going to switch to the liner. This is about an inch liner. And we're doing the branches on the trees. Just using the black. Don't press too hard on the brush. Keep it light, very light. Make sure you wiggle your brush to get these fancy looking branches. And if your paint is too thick, you dilute it a little bit with using a very little water and you'll run a lot smoother and in some of these uh, steps I do use that method I do use uh, the water to dilute some of the paint
put in as many branches as you like. They don't have to be straight, just wiggle them, make them look a little natural. Here I am diluting a little bit of the black. I just uh, used a little bit of water. See how soft that is? It's just to make it a little thinner. Don't get fancy, just go ahead and wiggle it. Just put them everywhere. And the reason I do this is because um, it's going to be covered with leaves. So you'll just see them in between some of the leaves. So that's why I say don't get fancy. Just relax, enjoy. You might want to do this painting a few times. Um, you can give it to people that um, you like as gifts. Um, make the umbrella any color, any color that they might really like. Uh, I try to match the color of the umbrella and the purse according to decor. Here I took the one inch brush and you're going to uh, switch back and forth so that you can get different shapes and sizes on the brush. So again I'm just using the black for the background color. Again please do not press on your brush too hard. Keep it very light, like feather-like weight. The reason you want to do that is because you want the black to dry some, not to keep it too wet. So keep it light, don't press, don't put a lot of paint on the paintbrush. You see that little dot there? That's okay. Just wipe it clean as much as you can. It serves as a shadow, but if you don't like it, you can always white it out. Twist your brush back and forth, back and forth. Twist and turn, twist and turn. Now we're going to drop some of those leaves on the floor. It's only natural. What you want to do is the colors from the trees, you're going to also put them on the ground. So if you have yellow, you want some yellow on the ground. If you have red, you want some red on the ground. I'm mixing here yellow and blue to get my greens. If you do it this way, you will have different kind of greens. So if you want lighter green, you just add more yellow. If you want darker greens, you just add more blue. Again, you twist and turn, twist and turn. I painted a young lady here, but if you want, you can paint a young man, you can paint a dog. Here I'm dipping into a little bit of the red because I want some red on the left hand side. 
so it seems like we have different trees, not just one tree of one color. So I'm trying to keep the red on one side. See, I'll put in some of the red on the floor. And of course I'm going to add a little bit on the right hand side as well because the wind will blow and it's not just going to stay on the left hand side. So always keep that in mind as well as for the yellow. Not too much, just a little bit and again very lightly. black I'm just making the trees a little darker because once the paint dry it lightened up a little bit but I want these trees up front to be a little darker and if you are advanced you can always add a little bit more light on the right hand side from the light coming in if you like You can use the charcoal pencil or you could just use the brush to sketch the little girl. I spray my palette, keep the paints moist so they don't dry up on me. determine where you want this. You don't want to make it too small and you don't want to make it too big. That's why I like sketching. Also do a silhouette of a couple walking too. Include the dog if you want to. They don't have to be holding an umbrella if you don't want them to. This is your painting. You make it into your own. Be creative. The skirt is a little too wide. So start by making it small, a little slim, and you can always add if you want it a little bigger. And if you already made it bigger and you want to change it, you can always white it out and make it slim. in front of the other so of course one foot is going to be shorter than the other I didn't want to have to mess with shoes or sandals so I gave her some high boots I practically made everything black to make it easier for you but again you can change the colors to your taste even have some wavy long hair 
makes it easier again you don't have to worry about shoulders or back the hair will cover all that so use your imagination the umbrella I had to do at least three layers to make it uh, really a deep red so once it dried I again I gave it three layers just to make sure that it's deep red as well as the skirt brush I used here is just a small round we're almost done hang in there and continue doing it you're doing great I'm sure you are. that I missed some of the trees on the right hand side so I'm putting them in now if the picture on the right is cropped a little bit so you don't see that section but you can see what I'm doing I'm filling it in some of the shadows on the floor make it look like it's wet And if it doesn't look wet to you, that's okay. Just let's say that she doesn't want to get burned from the sun. So she's avoiding the sun by using the umbrella. That's okay too. using the side of the brush and it's almost like a dry brush effect I'm not putting down the paint heavily I'm just putting it very light not pressing on at all just keeping it very light again I'm picking up the liner because I think I want to do a little bit more twigs
this is very light almost watered down black just to give it like a gray effect so that the trees can look more distant so very light nothing too dark will make a beautiful gift again so make a few of these you can add different colors to the trees different colors to the umbrella the clothing people you can change the people to your liking you can do a fisherman with his fishing pole walking down the path the possibilities are endless use your imagination and be creative Don't forget to sign and date your painting so a year from now two years from now you'll look back and say wow look I did that well hope you guys liked it hope you guys are having fun and thank you for joining me Hope to see you again real soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. Thank you so much. It was my pleasure. Bye now. Thank you.